morning, Bob. Good morning, sleepyhead. Derby, what are you doing here? Making breakfast. I eat here every morning before you get up. Are we at a cereal? We? Ah, here it is. Cyclops brand Cyclops. Fruit-shaped doughs with marshmallow eyes. What are you doing? Looking for the toy prize. I called dibs while you were asleep. So you're not even going to eat the cereal? Of course not. I made a Tex-Mex scramble. <laughs> Besides, this stuff is all sugar. I'm not even sure why mom buys it. You call mom, mom? She insisted. <laughs> There's no prize here. It says a prize in every box, right here next to a good source of artificial flavor. So what? It's just a 10 cent plastic toy. If they're lying about the prize inside, what else are they lying about? Maybe this isn't a good source of artificial flavor. <laughs> nope. No, it is. <laughs> Look, Derby, let's just forget about it and have breakfast. Have breakfast? I'm too upset to eat. Okay, nerds, when you get to the front of the line, present your lunch bag for inspection. Remember, you will only be allowed to keep fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Is this your lunch, nerd? <laughs> yeah. Gonna have to look inside. A chocolate bar? I didn't know that was there. I swear, mommy packed my lunch. <laughs> Gonna have to ask you to join that line for level two screening. But I, my mother. Don't worry, sir. I'm sure it's not that bad. We need to do a full body search. <laughs> got to do something about Slab. Maybe he wouldn't want so many lunches if we got Derby to invite him over to Adam's house every morning for a Tex-Mex scramble. I don't think this is about the food. I think Slab just needs a new hobby. And fast. Uh, could I request a female bully? <laughs> Help me. I am so upset about the cereal box toy thing. I'm calling Cyclops Foods to complain. Can I borrow your phone? I guess so. Ah! Ah! Nope, that didn't make me feel better. I'm still calling them. Wow, I've never seen you care about something so much. Well, to be fair, you mostly see me in your class. Here, listen in. I'm about to get a free lifetime supply of Cyclops. Thank you for calling Cyclops Foods. To report a poisoning, press or save one. If one of our soups caused your tongue to fall off, press or press two. I think I've eaten their soup. <laughs> for all other complaints, press or say three. Three. That mailbox is currently full. <laughs> Goodbye. What? This is an outrage! I'm going to write a letter to the president of the company. Can I borrow your laptop? No, give me that! You know, maybe it'll help Slob relax if he joins our knitting circle, the Knitwits. Well, it certainly relaxes me. Plus, I'm just about finished this toupee. Can you tell? Can you tell I'm wearing it? 
Wearing what? <laughs> so, we should ask Slab to join. Slab, how would you like to be a nitwit? <laughs> and how would you like to be a spot on the bottom of my shoe? <laughs> oh, I see your confusion. I was asking if you'd like to join the Knitwits, our knitting circle. I know. Cyclops Foods. Cool. This is where they make Cycloops, Cyclopster Bisque, and Cyclop Tarts. Can I help you? Yes. I would like to see the president, Mr. Cyclops. I'm sorry, he's not in today. Hey, Thursa, check this out. For Halloween, I'm going as a Biclops. Excuse me, Mr. Cyclops? What? No, my name is Mr. Jones. You think because I'm a Cyclops, my name is Mr. Cyclops? You're young, should I call you Mr. Young? I can't believe he's not here. Perhaps I can give him a message for you. No, we're past messages. I want to look him in the eye. Well, why don't you make an appointment? Well, great, make us an appointment. We don't do that in this office. You'll have to call this number. Fine. You call. Thank you for calling Cyclops Foods. To report a poisoning, press or say one. If one of our soups caused your tongue to fall off, press or press two. For complaints, press or say three. Three. Did you knit that hoodie slap? Yep. And I'm almost finished the pants. I also made this hat and these slippers. <laughs> Cupcakes. <laughs> yep, made those too. <laughs> Why would you knit cupcakes? <laughs> They're a real conversation starter. They taste awful. I bet they do. And conversation started. Uh oh, nerds! Nerds? I should knit them pocket protectors. I know it's a stereotype, but still, they use them. Delivery for Mr. Cyclops. I'll take that. Easy there, honey. No can do. If this Cyclops fella don't sign for it himself, my supervisor will be on me like a butterfly in a flowering morning glory. Nice. Very tough. OK, OK, follow me. Mr. Cyclops? No, I wasn't asleep. I was just resting my eye. There's a delivery for you. Here you go. Just sign here. <clears throat> Thanks. Ain't you gonna open it? Eventually. Put it with the others. He's not opening it. I'm running out of air in here. What do you want me to do? What was that? We'll never know unless you open it. Thusa, this letter is annoying me. Put it in the shredder. Ah! How cozy. How cozy. It's nice to make something with my hands other than a fist. I'm also knitting a school cozy. You don't look happy for a guy who just solved his lab problem. Well, I have a new problem. The school's been overrun by nerds. I 
I guess by removing the nerds only predator, their population has been allowed to explode. I mean, not through mating, obviously. <laughs> They're nerds. We have to do something. If this school goes 100% nerd, we'll never win a sporting event. We'll have to cancel prom. And our test scores will go through the roof. What's bad about that one? If this school becomes an academic gem, they're going to replace me with someone competent. <laughs> oh, just pick it up, nerd. You can help us, help you, help us, help you stay alive. We're from the CIA, the Cyclops Intelligence Agency. We've been assigned to keep our eye on you. We've been hearing chatter about corporate espionage. We have credible evidence that the enemy is planning attacks using people in giant envelopes. It's diabolical. If you could take us to Mr. Cyclops, we'll be able to provide him with a security detail. Well, there was a guy in a giant envelope here yesterday, but he ran away like a cowardly little girl. Maybe he's an evil genius, and running away was just a lolly into a false sense of security. And to be extra convincing, he peed in the envelope. Well, I'll take you to Mr. Cyclops but I really don't think he's in any danger. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mr. Cyclops, the CIA is here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Those padded envelopes really work. Oops. <laughs> You're a Biclops. <laughs> what? All these years, I trusted you. You're my kid's godfather. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I opened a box of Cyclops, and there was no toy. So? It says prize in every box. Oh, it also says a good source of nutrition. Okay. Here's what we'll do. We'll leave your office. You give them the toy and apologize. I control the market around here. If I have one unhappy customer, who cares? You're not getting the toy. Why are you standing there? I just told you you're not getting the toy. I didn't think you meant it because you winked afterward. I didn't wink. I blinked. This is winking. Now, if you don't mind, I need to have a meeting with my secretary. Was that a wink? Yes! I can't believe the head of a major multinational corporation could be so untrustworthy. I'm never eating anything made by Cyclops Foods again. Ooh, Cyclops brand mixed nuts. Mmm. These nuts are bursting with artificial flavor. <laughs> Mr. Cyclops is right. They're a huge, powerful company. Look around. Everything's made by Cyclops Foods. This root beer. This spray on ham. <laughs> this giant box of croutons. <laughs> oh, great. It just expired, and look how much is still left. What a waste. Well, what are we supposed to do? They have no reason to improve their products with customer service. They have no real competition. Not yet. Good morning, Thusa. Did they fix my window yet? Uh, let me check for you. Centaur Foods? I can't believe my eye. <laughs> Who is this Centaur Foods? Why have I never heard of them? I have two ears. Just try to relax, sir. 
Why don't you watch TV? There's a Greek mythology special on. All that stuff is bunk. <laughs> Mayhem on Mount Olympus. We'll return after these messages. Dude, I just shredded a sick heel flip. And I'm hungry. <laughs> well, you're just in time for breakfast. We're having Santorius. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> he loves it because it's delicious. And I love it because it's good for him. And 100% unartificial. <laughs> Two toys? Totally rad! <gasps> Two toys? That's one more than we advertise and two more than we actually give. Centaur Loops from Centaur Foods, part of a balanced breakfast. Unartificial is a made-up word and has no real meaning. So, Slab, maybe you want to do something other than knit, especially since you've almost finished your school cozy. Slab? This has got to stop. Although the school is nice and toasty. <laughs> but I love knitting. Couldn't you pick on the nerds a little bit? A swirly here, a wedgie there. <laughs> Not that you can even get to their underpants with a 24-7 renaissance fair we got going on here. Wait, you want me to give up knitting and go back to picking on nerds? Forget it. Maybe you can find a way to do both. Here. This is for you. Try it on. <laughs> nice nerdy sweater, nerd. Unartificial is a made-up word and has no real meaning. By now, Centaur Food should have Cyclops pretty nervous. I bet he's sleeping with one eye open. <laughs> or half an eye open. Nope, you're right. We really can't afford to keep buying ad time on TV. Although I must say, television advertising has been and remains the most cost-effective and proven way a company can connect with consumers. <laughs> Do you know anyone named Food Cyclops? It's Cyclops Foods. Answer it. Thank you for calling Centaur Foods. For nutritional information, press or say one. Operator. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> Hello? Uh-huh. That's right. You bet you will. Goodbye. What did he want? <laughs> to meet with our board of directors. We don't have a board of directors. <laughs> then it'll be a short meeting. <laughs> okay, they're on their way up. I don't trust these guys. I'm going into this meeting with my eye wide open. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm Mr. Centaur, president of Centaur Foods. I'm here to see Mr. Cyclops. Is he here? <laughs> I'm Mr. Cyclops. I'd like to introduce you to the rest of my team. My vice president, Mr. Kraken. <laughs> my chief financial officer, Miss Siren. And my head of security, Mr. Minotaur. Sorry, I'm a little stuffed up. <laughs> well, please, come in. Sit down. <laughs> Nor stand. <laughs> Dusef, would you get her and get some snack? I'd love some side loops. Let me get to the point. I don't like competition. Uh, I bet you don't. I guess you have to improve your products and customer relations in order to stay in business. Where did you go to business school? <laughs> I want to buy your company for $100 million. <laughs> $100 million? OK. $150 million. Sounds good. Let's sign the paperwork. <laughs> 
got the toy. You fell for it. Fell for what? Nothing. You, you fell for nothing. Nobody fell. Sign the paperwork. Here's some ink. <laughs> there is no Centaur Foods. Right. Because we've been swallowed up by the bigger, better Cyclops food for $150 million. Squirt them again. We made up the whole company so I could get this. We win. And you heard it right from the horse's mouth. I'm not sure that's the part of the horse that did the talking. Sure you're not mad? On the bus, you seemed mad. Because you lost us $150 million? Water under the bridge. Yeah, we found another way to make some money. Centaur rides, $20. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Lose the armor, buddy. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Good, sir. Your skeet awaits. 